Hey, this is Josh from Architects and Silosis. I'm here at Gear for Music, uh, doing some playthroughs, uh, playing some ESP guitars, and checking out the store. <laughs> I just was obsessed with ESP when I was a kid in school. I just like, obviously I saw like Metallica playing them and I remember seeing the inlay to Around the Fur by Deftones and Steph's ESPs and I thought the headstock was the coolest thing. To be honest, it was just, not just ESP but metal guitars in like my local guitar shop, I just never saw them. And I, I used to like cut out pictures from magazines of like LTDs and put them on my science folder. The main thing was just how cool the headstock was, and then when I actually started playing them, I was like, oh, these are amazing to play. I don't practice now, really. Uh, not to say I don't play. I try and obviously like, maintain a standard. I'm not obsessed with being like the fastest guy or anything. Um, I do have a little practice amp at home, though, now, that is kind of fun to do in the evenings. But, um, and I never really like practiced religiously when I was younger anyway. The most like practicing I did was when I was like 16 and I get home from like school or college and I do like an hour a day maybe and just do like scales to a metronome. And that's like all I really did. I uh, played like a few pieces that I learned to play, but mostly just going like up and down scales to a click, picking every note was like all I did to practice. And then playing like along to Metallica songs for the right hand stuff. Like, you know, battery and battery and stuff like that. Dylan, 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 all that kind of thing. I just did a lot. It kind of varies because I use a Kemper, but I am very specific about my guitar sound and I do a lot of production on the side. So the main reason for me moving to Kemper is because I wanted to be able to like have more control over my tone. So I wanted to make sure, you know, the 57 was in like the perfect spot on, on the cab and stuff. Uh, so literally sound guys can just turn my guitar up and it sounds like I want it to sound. So um, normally I'll profile a 6505 or 5150 into uh, a Mesa cab usually just with like one SM57, like an inch back from the center of the cone and then 10 millimeter off to the side from that usually or something. And it's, there's usually like a Maxxon uh, OD808 pedal in front as well. Blackened by Metallica. God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. Uh, Hollow Crown's really good, the Architect song. Uh, I'm allowed to say that because I didn't write that. I mean, there's loads. So I've got a custom shop ESP that I love, but more recently I got back an M2 that I had in like 2007 that it's just so comfy as well, like, I don't know. And there's more nostalgia with that one. Uh, I'll go with the M2. Honestly, I just tried them and they were great. I'd played active pickups in the past, played some passives. Um, the cool thing with the Fishmans is, or the ones I use, I use the moderns. Um, you can switch between an active sound and a passive sound. So instantly that's great, especially like in the studio and going between like riffing heavy sounds and clean sounds. Fishman, it's more like they're, you're powering the technology as opposed to powering the output. Like for, for riffing, like everyone always goes on about like active sounding pickups that are, they're not dynamic enough. If you're playing like fast metal, you don't want dynamics. I want every note to come out like a machine, like it's supposed to be undynamic. <laughs> Oh, 
in the studio, I go with a real amp, but because of the uh, the nature of touring and playing with in-ears and the consistency of having the same sound every night, I go with a Kemper for life, um, which has just made my life so much easier that I use it all the time and I use it at home because it's easy to demo and you can capture the exact sounds that you want in it. I never thought I'd say it, but yeah, the Kemper nowadays. For me, I just really like just riffs. That's like the most important thing to me, like good rhythm playing and riffing and stuff. I like Testament, Eric Peterson, just great riffs. Uh, Truck from Death, again, great riffs. I don't really pay attention to like lead players as much, even though I do a fair bit of that. I just like heavy riffs. But yeah, Eric Peterson, I mean, everyone, a lot of people know Testament, but he's just writes great riffs, so. Uh, at the moment, we've had some time off, and then in the new year, we're going to Australia to play Unify Festival. But after that, we're going to lay low for a bit, I think. Uh, it really depends on when, what time of day it is. I'll probably go for Sam or Ali being the more mischievous too. But then again, if it's like bedtime on the bus and there are, you know, if you want to play a prank on someone or get in their bunk naked or something or stuff like that, I can be quite mischievous on the tour bus as well. But yeah, it'll probably be those two, but it's, we're pretty boring. Like those are the only two that like really drink in the band and they never get like sloppy drunk or anything. I don't even know that they're drunk if they are, so. Um, no one. <laughs>